to the channel. Today with a news update, not only from Liseberg but also from Tosselilla, another small, very small amusement park in Sweden, but also Furevik. And today's news update is mostly about roller coasters. We hope. Let's start with an update from Liseberg because things are really happening in the park and foundations for the new roller coaster Luna that is opening in 2023 for the 100 year celebration of Liseberg is coming along great. But not only that, Liseberg is looking for someone to help them build the station house for Luna, which also means that we have some cool pictures or some more cool pictures of the station and they look like this. And except from that, it looks like the Luna Park construction is going great. And we also can see that in the parking lot of Liseberg, Turbo has arrived. Or at least parts of Turbo. That's the news from Liseberg for right now. But there are other things happening in Sweden which is kind of interesting. Tosselilla Summerland in Tommelilla in south of Sweden is a small amusement park. But it looks like they're adding a new roller coaster, or it doesn't look like it. They are adding a new roller coaster called Forza. We don't know much about Forza, but when you look at the tracks, it looks like it is a seer. And because of the size of the park, we don't think that it's a huge roller coaster, of course. So it's a small family Cedar roller coaster. That's the best guess that we can do right now for Forza. It is always sad to see a roller coaster being removed. But as of a couple of days ago, Furevik put their old roller coaster Rocket up for sale. Rockets opened at Furevik in 2011 and it's a Swords Cup Jet Start 2. Something fun with this roller coaster is the history of it. And maybe, I used to say maybe because I haven't decided yet, but maybe it deserves its own video in a mini documentary. But from the beginning, Rocket actually opened in 1983 in the English park Alton Towers. But by that time it was an indoor coaster and there is plenty of information to be found of this roller coaster on YouTube. Other interesting things is that Furevik have a Bicoma family boomerang, much like the one they were building at Liseberg. Not the same design, but it's a Bicoma family boomerang. Anyway, to the news! Furevik is teasing us with something called Lightning. And Lightning is the ride that is supposed to replace Rocket. Just so we are on the clear, Rocket is already gone. It closed last season, it has been dismantled, and is already in the Netherlands, waiting for a new fire. The new ride that they are teasing us with is called Lightning. They gave us one picture and this four second long teasing video. Lightning is set to premiere at Furevik in the season of 2023. And with this we can do some conclusions. Have in mind that from now on I am just guessing. I have no idea what lightning is yet, because I'm looking into it. But this is some things that we can take out of the facts that we have. So bear with me and we do some guessing what lightning could be. Furevik decides to close a roller coaster. They don't have that much to offer for or in thrill rides. So they remove one of the coasters they have. Have in mind that this was a very well functioning roller coaster. There is nothing wrong with Rocket. Yes, it's old, but it looks very nice. And it's still a nice roller coaster. A bit shaky because it's old, but nothing wrong. And they're selling it, which means that they are pretty sure that someone else is going to want to have this roller coaster. So in my opinion, you don't remove a roller coaster to add Winnie the Pooh's cute carousel. Oh no, you do it because you need the space for something cool to replace the roller coaster you have. This is my guess of what it could be. I base my guess on the name and they say lightning. And because of lightning, I do jump to the Samperla Lightning Train. And Samperla introduced a brand new roller coaster concept in Ayapa last year. 
And if we look at the footprint of rocket, the size it takes up in the park, and we take a certain new Sun Perla roller coaster called Double Heart, you can see that it actually fits. Again, I want to be very clear, I am speculating. I have no idea what Furevi is going to put here in this spot, but they call it Lightning. This train is called Lightning Train, and the ride would fit in this area. And if they were to do this, that would be amazing. Don't get your hopes up though, I cannot say that this is the case. It's a small amusement park, would they benefit from a big ride? Yes, I think they will. There's a lot of people living around this park. Of course, more free rides would bring in more guests, I am more than sure. If this is the way that they have decided to go, just remains to be seen. I am as hard as I can looking into the facts here, and I'm trying to find out what they're actually building. I haven't been able to find that yet, but I promise you that I will do my absolute best and as soon as I find out, I will give you more information. I also want to send a huge thanks to coasterblog.se on Instagram for the pictures, videos and some of the information that I have shared with you. Make sure that you go to Instagram and you follow him because his pictures on roller coasters are fantastic. This is Coaster Stop and a news update from Liseberg Tosse Lilla Sommerland and Fyrevik. And as you probably can tell, I am wearing a Coaster Stop t-shirt and I will give one of those away in a very near future. So stay tuned here on the channel, subscribe, like the video and comment of what you think about this news update and especially what you think that Forza and Lightning is.